after uh, we had heard from the professionals at cabinet, there was a further meeting at the central bank because these amendments, not just to the Income and Business Tax Act, but to the IBC Act, which we will come to a little bit later, are so wide ranging uh, that we had to try to guard against every possible effect of the law of unintended consequences. I serve notice, Madam Speaker, that while we are hoping to pass this today so that we can comply with this December 31st deadline in order to avoid blacklisting, uh, there will no doubt be things that will be found with respect to a more considered review over a longer period that may no doubt require us to come back and to ask for amendments. But for the moment, we have to, we have to do what we wish to do today so that, as I said, we can avoid blacklisting.